So on my kick track, let's see what I'm using. Let's just have some fun here. And uh, here, look at that, not a Waves plugin, but it's my favorite EQ. Who's using Fab Filter EQs? Probably everybody, right? Anybody not? Raise your hand if you're not. Please go buy some Fab Filter EQs. You guys are gonna have to edit this part of the thing out. <laughs> but please go buy them. They're they're great sounding EQs. It's fun when there's a when there's a new company comes along and just killing it. And uh, the Pro EQ, the Pro Q, and now the Q2 are just are just amazing sounding, very smooth, right? So uh, just using that to cut a little bit a little bit of the low end off. And here, look at this plugin. So I use this, been using it since it came out. I pretty much, I don't think I use really any other Maserati plugins, but I use this one pretty much every session on my kick just because it sounds great. It doesn't really matter what kick I have. I pretty much end up using this plugin on every single uh, song. And uh, it's, man, this is not very technical, right? It's, it's pretty much layman terms. You don't have to go to music school here to, when you see these buttons here, thump. That's not a music school, <laughs> it's not a music school term, correct? Okay, a snap. Well, snap's a little, you can kind of figure out what snap does, right? A snap's just kind of like the attack, rounding things off, faster attack, or a harsher attack, or a smoother attack. And then treble, you guys can figure out what that is, you know, growing up and you have your dad's or mom's stereo system, there's, got, there's two buttons, right? Two knobs, bass and treble. You just crank them both and you figure it out. But it's a great plug-in. Tony Maserati's mixed a lot of records. What's he mixed? What's his biggest record? Did he mix Blurred Lines? Anybody know? Come on. Anybody? Okay, well, let's pretend like he did. <laughs> but he's, he's mixed a lot of big hip-hop records, and um, the, guy's, the guy's one of the, mo the best engineers, one of the top 10, for sure, mix engineers in the business. And so, you know, a couple years ago, I think it's actually four or five now, Waves went and got these Signature Series plugins. They keep begging them to make one for me, but they just tell me that, you know, I have no idea what I'm doing, so um, they're not doing it yet. And uh, this is the Tony Maserati, and, and so uh, that's, that's what I like to use on my kick drum. And if you guys want to kind of hear what it sounded like before and after, we can, I guess we can listen to that. It'd be kind of fun. I don't know what it's going to sound like in here, but... Well, it kind of sounds better before, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> well, that didn't work too well, no. So after that, I like to... Um, lately, I've been putting an, uh, a Kramer. Any, anybody, everybody know who Eddie Kramer is? So I don't have to tell you who he is. I have no idea who he is. He makes a plug. He makes a plug-in for Waves. That's his. That's his claim to fame. Is he has a Waves plug-in? He's done no big records for anybody else. Uh, you know Hendrix or anybody like that. So I like to use that uh, following my kick, just depending on uh, how much punch I want the kick to have, depending on what kind of record I'm doing. Those are my favorite plugins to put on a kick. Um, and these tracks below it are just different kicks, maybe. This one probably, I'm just going to guess, I have a little uh, filter on it. Yeah, there it is. So I'm automating filter here on this kick track here. This is not a Waves plugin, you guys. This is a McDSP plugin. But it's my favorite plugin to automate filters. I don't know why. I, I mean, I've been automating filters on uh, using the Pro-Q as well, the Fab filter up there. But I just find it more fun to turn the knob here, right? And I'm mixing on a mouse, you guys. I'm not mixing on a console. I know that's crazy, right? Is that crazy? No, it's not crazy. Come on. Having a console is crazy. Don't tell Westlake Audio that, okay? All right. So uh, my favorite pl plug-in to automate low-pass and high-pass filters is the McDSP F2. And uh, unfortunately, uh, with the new version of Pro Tools, actually the AAX plug-in, uh, when that came about, they got rid of the sliders. I used to love the sliders, and I have to use the damn knobs now. What the hell is that all about? You guys are, some of you are following me on that. You, you're appreciating it, right? Okay. So <laughs> that's, that's my kick. Let's get rid of my kick stuff here. The kick's not very exciting. Um, let's get rid of that. And what's next here? There's a kick. Let's unmute the kick now.